Hello everybody, I'm back with another video in the How to Go Soul Winning series. So uh, I want to start doing multiple a day actually, um, instead of just uploading one a day because there's not really any sense in doing that. So anyway, in this video I want to go through the basic structure of how to present the gospel. And each of these points you see on the screen right now, I'm going to go in depth in uh, a later video. But today I just want to talk about the basic parts of the conversation. So number one would be the introduction. That's when you actually go up to the person you're seeking to preach to and you say, hey, we're preaching the gospel and you try to determine whether they're saved. And then if they're not saved, you give, you know, you offer to share them the gospel. So just the basic walking up, introducing yourself, that kind of stuff. And then problem, or I'm sorry, point two through five would be the uh, actual presentation of the gospel. So number one, uh, one thing that you want to talk to them about is the fact that there's a problem and the problem is that we're all sinners and that there's a punishment for our sin which is hell right so just going through that explaining it and then number three offering a solution to that problem which is jesus christ so explaining to them who jesus is what jesus did for us the fact that he died for our sins was buried and then rose again the third day and then number four would be the response how to respond to the fact that jesus died for our sins uh, that would be to believe in Jesus, obviously, to explain to the sinner how to be saved. And then the fact that it's eternal and they can never lose it. And then number five, the closing would be to call on the name of the Lord, right? So to basically do a recap with them, make sure they understand it, ask them if they believe it. If they do believe it, to lead with them or lead them in a prayer calling on the name of the Lord. And then, you know, leaving them with an invite and moving on from there. And again, I'll go through um, each one of these different points uh, in, later in the series. So this is just a basic structure video. And one of the things I also want to talk about is the Romans Road, which is the uh, traditional IFB way of presenting the gospel. And it's primarily out of the Book of Romans, hence why it's called the Romans Road. Okay, because the Book of Romans has a lot of good verses which you could use to present the gospel, like Romans 3.10 and Romans 3.23, which are both about the fact that we're all sinners. It says, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. And it says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then Romans 6, 23, which says, for the wages of sin is death. So that's, again, the consequence for our sin. Romans 5, 8, which talks about the solution for our sin. God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 3, 22 and Romans 4, 5 are some verses about how salvation is just by faith and it's not of works. And then Romans 10, 9, which would, uh, you know, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, right? So to explain to them how it is that they believe, that they believe in their heart and they confess it with their mouth, they call upon the name of the Lord, right? Now, the new IFB style of soul winning is basically an updated and a more thorough version of the Romans road, right? So the thing is, if the traditional old IFB way of doing it, they leave out some things. They don't really put much emphasis on the resurrection. They don't really preach eternal security. And so that's why I believe that the Romans road is good to start off with if you don't really, uh, if you're new at soul winning, but there's a lot of other verses that you should add to your gospel presentation to be more thorough, especially out of the book of John. I would say most of what I preach when I go to uh, soul winning is from Romans, but also from the book of John. And there's some other verses and some other scriptures as well. It's important to be thorough in each of the points that you go through. And I'll, again, talk about this uh, and the verses to use and the points to make and the questions to ask in each of the, the points, each of these parts of the conversation I spoke about in later videos. So thank you, everybody, for watching.